The Ministry of Human Services and Social Security, in collaboration with the United Nations Population Fund, held a graduation ceremony for the first COP Squad 2000 batch of trained officers. This program was initiated by the Human Services Ministry one month ago and aims to train officers to set standards, issue policies and guidelines to strengthen prevention mechanisms to combat gender-based violence in Guyana. Minister Dr. Vindya Prasad noted that this training was intended to have a meaningful and tangible impact on the social ill of gender-based violence, which has created havoc in the country and globally. You are the pioneers of the COP Squad initiative. And I feel in my heart that you will do justice to the training that you would have received through this initiative. The minister noted that statistics have shown that women and girls are mostly affected by gender-based violence. But it means that we're still in the grips of a situation that continues to haunt our country where our women and girls remain unsafe. Many of these instances and incidents can happen behind closed doors. It still has stigma around it. It still is something that many people are not comfortable facing, addressing, or taking action against, maybe because it hits too close to home. Minister Prasad said that she has confidence in this batch of graduates to enforce the correct policies. This means you have to be examples. This is a tough one. It means even if issues arrive, arise in your personal relationships and in the environments in which you find yourself, you have to be able to put into practice all that you've learned. It's a tough one. But I believe that you've been exposed to all of the information that you require to put you in good stead, to respond, to react, to report, and definitely to take condign action against those who are offenders. Meanwhile, Minister of Home Affairs Robson Ben during his address congratulated the Ministry of Human Services and Social Security for their continued efforts in dealing with the social issues. Minister Ben said in order to move forward, the challenge of victims not wanting to engage with authorities must be overcome. Even while we are putting in the police stations places where victims, children, women can safely sit with and discuss the issue, I think we have to overcome a massive challenge of disdain, of not wanting to engage, of thinking perhaps it is normal and acceptable for this type of behavior to continue. Minister Prasad also noted that this is not a one-off program as more interventions of this nature are forthcoming.